So what I think I might do is also do a switch suspension, uh, save, uh, save suspension. A bit like what I did with um, trying to get through Animal Antics in DKC2 Lost World. But literally only use it for saving and then to load it later when I stream this again. That way I don't lose my lives. Having said that, later on in this playthrough, that ain't going to be much of a problem because there's one particular level where you can literally um, abuse its um, layout to get as many lives as possible. I don't know if the creator's intentionally done it that way, but there's an exploit in a, in a later level. Oh crap, there goes Yoshi! There's an exploit in there where you can literally get like 50 odd lives in one go. No! Thank you. Long life, damn it. Okay. Right, I got what, one or two extra lives out of that. Better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, I'm still half asleep. I didn't go to sleep till gone four. Gone four in the morning. I was just having trouble sleeping. Woke up at nine o'clock. Yeah. Might not need a bit of a nap before I start work. No, that's just being lazy, psycho. You can have an early night tonight because you're off, off tomorrow. Literally trying. Uh, 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 no, I'll take that to be on the safe side. No! Damn hammer! Bloody, bloody hammer. Right. Get Yoshi for a start. Regain these feathers. Right, let's see if we can do this again. Got busted by a freaking hammer. That's all right. That's all right. It's fine. I can get Yoshi in the feathers again. That's not a problem. That's what you call cheesing it. Yeah, like how am I doing? Morn? Yeah, Morn. Roy's World 5. Or Castle 5, shall I say. Yeah. Go back to Donut Plains 1, get the secret exit in there, so then I can do the secret levels in this world. So there's an underwater level, the other ghost house, and then there's also an, under an underground level. <sighs> so it's just a case of just flying over most of this. Trying to avoid everything that can possibly kill you, which is pretty much everything. 
but no. That was close. Yosh, get here. Thank you. Right there. Well, to be fair, I can't use him up here. underwater levels in a Mario game. I don't mind underwater levels in a Donkey Kong Country game, but... Yeah. Mario and underwater mechanics do not go at all. Do not go at all. Having said that, I do prefer the underwater levels in this one compared to Super Mario Bros. 3. That, those ones are a pain in the arse. Now let's see if I can actually get to the top without Mario deflating and falling. And He's going to fall. No, didn't do it. So near yet so far. Those two little boxes up there would have, if you hit them from underneath it, they would have, you would have got um, extra lives. <coughs> okay. Ghost House next will also have two. We'll also have two exits: the normal one and the secret one. One that leads normal exit leads to the pipe. Secret exit leads to Star Road. Get away. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So now, come to the ghost house. I don't know why I went all the way around the long way for. Don't ask. My brain is not engaged this morning. Yeah, I don't even know why, oh god, why I even tried to attempt to get that trampoline, because I didn't really need it. <clears throat> Come up 
here first. Take on King Boo or Big Boo. Let's try that again. Just take your time. Come on, get up. Thank you. <clears throat> Get up there, thank you. I don't know why in this game he's called Big Boo and then in, in later Mario games they changed it to King Boo. Take us to Star Road. I could actually, if I weren't aiming to do 100% or the 93 exit, then I could have just used Star Road right now and end the game within this session because I could easily just get to Bowser in under five more levels. But I ain't going to do that. I'm doing it properly. of going through that other blue door. She's amongst these coins right here. <clears throat> this one. Get in. Cute. I think, that I think that boo wanted to um, give me give Mario a kiss. I don't know. Just like edging closer towards boo before having to sneak out the door. All right. It's Donut Secret Two. Oh yeah, ice mechanics in a freaking Mario game. Underwater physics in Super Mario Bros. 3 is terrible, and ice physics in Super Mario World is terrible. They're on par with each other. Oh, that was close! Done. 
Now all that's left now is to face Morton and then Donut Plains is done. Just double check. Donut Plains, Donut Plains done? Yes it is. Now, Morton, Morton, Morton. Yeah, he's the one who likes to climb up the side of the walls and jump on you from above and stomp the ground when he lands. Just trying to remember the strategy for the upcoming boss fight. Uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. You will not squish me. Wait here. Unfortunately, yes, that is a green block, and if you were to hit it from underneath, you'll get a feather, but obviously, you can't get to it. You can get to this, which is a bonus. Hello, Morton. A stomp on his head, preferably before he climbs the wall. Damn it. No, you don't. No, you don't. Did it without actually hurting myself. I was actually surprised when I done Iggy as well. Normally it takes about two or three times before I actually have to knock him off. guys thank you for everyone who who watches and thank you for anyone who watches you know watches after the stream has ended thank you miss gamer geek for stopping by and chatting with me i do appreciate it thank you very much i you know you, you are brilliant and thank you for the shout out on instagram as well you've made my day on that thank you can't stop can't stop uh thanking you enough i do, do apologize for that Right, guys, I hope you have a good day, and I will um, see you guys soon. I'll possibly be streaming. Yes, I'll be streaming Monday night. Don't know what time yet, though. Probably 7 or 8 o'clock. I'll see you then. See you later, guys.